Okay guys, so here it is, the new Star Trek TNG Alcars theme for your iPhone. Well, it's not that new, but uh, it's now been released on Cydia. Just look for it with that exact name, it's in the video description. Um, so here's how to install it, quick tutorial. First you want to go into Cydia and download it, but don't uh, don't activate it on Winterboard yet because we have to do a couple of other things first. Uh, this is going to take a while, I'll see if I can get some interesting music. So uh, you're going to want to do a search, if that works. Um, best thing is to search for TNG and you'll find it right away. Here it is, Star Trek TNG Elkar's theme. And then, I've already installed it here, but just download it, and then you'll be all right to go. So, uh, before you start it up with Winterboard, you're going to need to do a couple of different things. Uh, you're going to have to install some categories. I'll show you here. Um, so, uh, you're going to have to install applications, games, internet, and configuration. Uh, media is just something I have. Yeah, so once you've installed those and added your uh, apps to those uh, folders, or you don't have to if you don't want to. Anyways, the, the most important thing is the uh, icon order on the first two screens. Uh, that's also in the description on Cydia, uh, if you can copy that out. Um, yeah, so you have to have in this order, configuration, applications, calendar, settings, games, clock, weather, camera, mail, notes, maps, calculator. In the dock you've got phone, safari, iPod, and text. On page two you have finder, psych order, remote, contacts, internet, that's another category, app store, installus or installer, if anyone still uses that, uh, Cydia, Wikipanion, YouTube, photos, and Skype. I'm going to come out with page three and four eventually. Uh, Actually, our, most of the icons are finished. I just have to figure out who, or what the the most used apps are, to to keep on the home screen. Right. So once you have that done, um, you can go ahead and launch Winterboard, and that should be at the top here. Right. So just check it, and we'll respring. There we go. So there we've got the uh, battery screen. If you pull it out, that's the basic lock screen. I'm um, probably going to change that to have something animated in the future. You can see at the bottom there's a custom slider and slide text. Right, so that's your first home screen page and your second home screen page. You can see that uh, the last row here is empty because I've got an animated background, HTML background, uh, which is working perfectly now. It doesn't, uh, doesn't cause any lag anymore like it used to. So yeah, we've got a couple of categories here. If you look in, you just have to make sure you've activated here um, using background PNG. They're already in the folders in the theme. Uh, I turn off folder title and icon label so it makes it look a bit cooler. But I'm going to try and come up with a whole bunch of different uh, icons for the different apps soon. Uh, for this category I have three rows. Uh, for the other categories, some for um, subspace here, that's configuration. I only have two rows because of the, uh, the background. You can see here, two rows, uh, and in games, three rows, yeah. Um, the next thing you've got besides the different sounds uh, is a custom calculator that I built. There it is, works just like the normal calculator with some special sounds as well. There's also this calculator, the uh, scientific calculator, works the same way. I had to change it for 2.2.1. If you're downloading, downloading this on 2.1, uh, you have to give me a 
a ring if something uh, if it doesn't work because they changed something in 2.2 so these are two different graphics on the page it used to be one big PNG anyways if you have problems just let me know um, right and in text messages just one sec so everyone knows my name now um, I've got some more custom sounds Right, so that's about it for now. We've also got, if you didn't notice before, here the uh, the lock screen, the lock clock has a custom font. Um, there's a description of how to add that with font swap. I haven't managed to do it directly with uh, Winterboard yet. Yeah, so I might have forgotten some stuff, but that's about it, how you install it. If you have any problems, uh, you can write me an email. It's included in the um, theme description. Yeah, thanks.